this gate leads to one of the world's most famous palaces, Versailles. And this summer, visitors will be greeted by two giant sculptures, a pair of candlesticks over nine meters tall, made out of champagne bottles. Inside, there's another surprise, this oversized quilted monster. These red and black hearts made of plastic knives and forks were inspired by traditional Portuguese jewelry. They were created by Portuguese artist Joana Vasconcelos. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for an artist to express herself in a location like this, visited by thousands of people from around the world. And it sets an example. There's room for many different cultures in Europe, and it's important for them to communicate. I enjoy being able to share my Portuguese culture with others. Fifteen sculptures by Vasconcelos are on display at the palace. Nine of them were created especially for Versailles in just 18 months. Exhibiting at Versailles is an enormous challenge and puts huge pressure on the artist. Artists have to understand the location and its size. Working here is quite different from working in a normal museum with white walls. Vasconcelos fuses the traditional and the modern in her work, often using everyday objects and old handicraft techniques. A pair of ceramic lobsters covered in crochet are meant to symbolize the lavish banquets once held at the palace. And the 19 hair pieces in the wig sculpture stand for the heirs to the throne who were born here. To me, Versailles is a place where, in a way, women were held captive. That's why I wanted to do an exhibition about women in Versailles. Gigantic stilettos made of saucepans dominate the famous Hall of Mirrors and serve as a commentary on gender roles. The shoes were made before the exhibit and a pair were sold at auction two years ago to a Turkish collector for nearly 600,000 euros. When viewing my work, there are two moments. At first, you see the piece, and then you grasp the message behind it. My stiletto sculpture is about the woman of today and her double role, the traditional housewife who's devoted to the family, as well as the modern woman who works, plays a role in society, and has a glamorous side. The centerpiece of the exhibition is a gold-plated helicopter encrusted with crystals and pink ostrich feathers. If Marie Antoinette were living in this palace today, she'd need a very special means of transportation, and I'm sure she'd listen to Lady Gaga. With this helicopter, I wanted to give expression to this modern spirit. Vasconcelos' work brings new color to the 350-year-old walls, and this contrast triggers a range of reactions from the people who visit the palace. I like these sculptures. They come as something of a surprise, but they fit in very well. I don't think they're out of place. I really would like to see how it was for real, uh, the original form, and to see something like that. Mm. Maybe make, make lose all the effect, that, the reality that we want to see. On that point, the artist sees things differently. When the Palace of Versailles was still a residence, many artists worked for the royal court. You see that in the countless paintings and sculptures here. Artists are nothing new at Versailles. They're part of its tradition. So I don't understand why some people have a problem. To keep a place like this alive, it's important for artists to continue to explore and to work for Versailles. The contrast between old and new fits in well with Joana Vasconcelos' approach. Her exhibition at the Palace of Versailles runs through the end of September.